Oh, and you get your first bomb as a duck. What was, what was the feeling like there? Yeah, it felt good. Um, obviously, you know, it's been um, not ideal start to the season offensively for me. And, you know, whether that's uh, approach things or whatever you want to call it, um, you know, it's, it's baseball. It happens to, to everyone at some point. You just got to stick with it, stay consistent in your work. And, um, you know, to get that first one, especially at a big time for our team and, in a, you know, the opening game of Pac-12 play was, was really nice for the team. When you got back to the dugout, it seems like you kind of lost it, like in a good way, that you were just excited. Just what were those emotions like coming back in the dugout and, you know, seeing your teammates? Yeah, I think, you know, one thing I'm trying to do a better job of is just going out and competing. Um, you know, being a competitor, I was a hockey player growing up in, in Canada. And, um, you know, I, talking to Coach Hinkle this week, I think he, he kind of said me to channel some of that and, um, you know, bring some of that edge to the field. And, you know, that's what I'm trying to do. And um, that's probably what you saw there a little bit. Did you know that ball was gone off the bat? Yeah, um, you know, just in a split second, I knew I, I kind of got it. And then obviously with the wind blowing out that way, um, I, I thought, yeah, it was it was going for sure. Well, I just mentioned that you guys had took kind of like a team approach of hitting the ball the other way. And you guys did that last weekend against San Diego. Do you do it to start this weekend against UCLA? Just how have you taken that approach into your own you know, personal approach, trying to get the ball the other way? Yeah, um, you know, I've, I've always been a guy who's typically um, been more of a pull hitter. So um, it's really important for me, especially in practice, to really work on that and stay diligent with it and focus on it. And um, it, it was nice to it's nice to have guys, um, you know, that do that for a living. And it comes easier to, to, to talk to. And, um, you know, whether that's Gavin Grant or, or Tanner Smith or even Jacob Walsh, it comes a little easier to those guys. So talking to them and um, you know, learning how they do it and, you know, how to drive the ball out that way um, has been great. And it, it, it probably helps me to do that today. What are some of those tips that you learned? Yeah, um, I think a lot of it just comes down to not changing your swing or trying to go get that ball with your arms, just trusting your hands, letting it get deep and, and keeping your body behind the ball. Because if you're trying to go get it with your arms, you're probably, you're probably not going to be able to drive it out that way. Did you and, you and Marta work on anything specific this past week trying to get your swing in check? Yeah, um, you know, I guess this week for me, you know, my, my big thing was just buy into what, what Martyr's saying completely. Um, that he's a really smart hitting coach, and um, sometimes you get caught in between with stuff. Like, you know, it's just like anything in life. You don't fully buy in. It's you're, it's probably either not going to pay off at all or, or you know, going to pay off completely. And so um, that was my big thing this week was completely buy into everything he has to say, really listen, um, and and, you know, that, that home run, being able to drive the ball the opposite way, um, was probably some, some I don't know, a reward for you know sticking with it, and I'll continue to do that. You don't have to, but if you want to, are there specifics that Marta was kind of preaching to you that you needed to pay attention to, I guess? Yeah, I think just simplifying my load um, more than anything, just giving me time to see the ball, um, you know, not trying to do too much. Uh, I think that's a big thing when I, you know, when things start to go <laughs> sideways, I try and do more. Um, you just preach, do less. Um, you know, trust my hands, trust, trust the approach, trust the work we put in in practice, and um, you know, just keep the game simple. Just go up and compete. Five wins in a row now. Do you feel like this offense is kind of really finding its potential and, and coming together? Yeah, honestly, you know, other than the, the, the game we scored 13, I, I still really don't think we've completely put it together as an offense. I think it's a testament to. Um, you know, us playing team baseball and, and, and doing it as a, as a team. Um, we got a lot of good hitters in our lineup. Um, we're finding ways to work together to, to scratch runs across, and um, it's really positive to see us winning games, um, even when we're not at full force. And, um, you know, we just stick with it, keep going, and um, I have no doubt we'll, we'll get where we want to go. Tomorrow, you still has got a guy that throws, you know, upper 90s. How does your coach change facing a guy that throws really hard? Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest thing is you don't change your approach in terms of um, trying to do more with a guy throwing harder. I, I think a lot of the time the tendency is to overswing or try and match his power with your own power, which isn't how you get the job done. I think we'll stick to a simple approach tomorrow, um, keep things simple, uh, stay within ourselves, keep the swing short, and um, let him supply the power, and, you know, the ball go. So.